If you are one of the thousands of residents who take advantage of any of the county's nine recreational beaches, there are some new guidelines in place to make your visit a little safer. Wake County has adopted new regulations for recreational waters based on the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency's revised water quality criteria and guidelines. The county's environmental services staff test the water in recreational beach areas as summer outdoor activity increases. In addition to the changes, new signs have been installed to communicate health risks to those who come in contact with the water. The new regulations use the more updated water quality criteria. It also affords new tools such as advisories instead of simple closures alone. Advisories like preemptive rain advisories to get ahead of any exposure. And the educational portion will really enhance the public knowledge and uh, awareness about swimming in fresh water. These regulations are important because they protect public health through monitoring and notification. The enhanced educational portion also will empower the public to make their own decision whether they want to swim and where. The, the colored signs that we've incorporated, the advisories, follow the universal red-yellow-green scheme. It's recommended by the World Health Organization, the CDC, and the EPA. And so when you go to a beach and there's a green sign, it means the beach is open and the recent water sampling meet county standards to also swim at your own risk. If a yellow sign is posted, that means a caution or advisory, and that means that the recent water sampling did not meet county standards. The beach is still open, but swim at your own risk. If you see a yellow sign also, it could mean that that was posted preemptively of a rain event. We know that water quality will deteriorate after a rain, so we can get ahead of any potential exposure. The red sign will obviously mean the beach is closed, and these are gonna be reserved for known public health nuisances and risks such as a sewer spill. So we sample for fecal indicator bacteria. They're highly associated with waterborne illnesses. These bacteria reside in the intestines of all warm-blooded mammals. So when we find the presence of them in water, that suggests the presence of a waste stream, whether that be mammal or human. The most important thing for the public to consider in staying healthy and safe and swimming in fresh water is to take simple precautions regardless of the water quality, regardless of what advisory is posted or not posted. And these are simple healthy swimming tips. Don't drink the water. Wash your hands before eating. Shower after swimming. Don't swim when you're sick. Check your diaper children frequently and to pay close attention to the advisories and the recent monitoring. We always recommend that people check our website at wakegov.com, Recreational Waters. We have an interactive map there where it shows real time any current advisories at all the swimming areas. We have frequently asked questions linked to public health organizations. And you can always email us at beaches at wakegov.com.